in all our productions, we, uh, it always starts differently. And um, mostly it's someone who has this idea. And this was an idea that we had already long ago, I think six or seven years ago. Um, we were rehearsing with a sheep in another production. And it was a scene that we cut out because it didn't work for that production. But we thought it was so beautiful to have this sheep on stage. And then, yeah, the, it started, some kind of story started in our heads about this sheep. Of course, it's great to be here uh, in Milano. It's, uh, we are so uh, happy to be here. And it's very exciting because we don't know how the audience will react. Um, it's uh, the experience we have with our performance is that it is open to uh, a lot of audiences in a lot of countries. So we hope and we expect that uh, a lot of people will, will like it and will have a nice time. The formal aspect of our performances is always very important. It's mostly the starting point for the performance. So, and then uh, when we have this basic image, then we start thinking about the story, the narration, the dramaturgy, but mostly it starts with an image. So also here it's very important. The formal aspect of our performance is always very important. Um, when other uh, theater uh, performances often start with a text as a basis, for us it's really the set is the basis. And from that set, everything starts. So the dramaturgy, the narration, the story, it all starts from the image. And then we start thinking about this story. What we like about uh, performances without speech is that it, you don't need the brain to understand what they're talking about. You can really, with images, you can go directly to the heart. Um, and also the working process is very intuitive. So we come together with a lot of uh, images that we have cut out, newspapers, or we have in our heads with drawings. And we are four of us, so we all put them together and then something starts. Something starts um, existing on its own just because all these images come together. For me personally, I try to uh, embrace the present as much as possible. We always, um, think about the past and about the future and we we're not conscious that we are in a present right now. So that's something that I try to do every day, day by day to be here in the present, in the present, in the present. But it's a, an exercise that we will have to do our whole lives, I think, because yeah, our thoughts are so dominant.